Example 3. We're going to find the inverse sine of the sine of 9 pi over 10. First we say that the inverse sine function is an angle. This theta lives inside the closed interval from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. As a property of inverse functions, this is equivalent to saying that the sine of theta equals the sine of 9 pi over 10. Now since 9 pi over 10 is not between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, we have to find for what theta, but the sine of this theta is equivalent to the sine of 9 pi over 10. If we look at the unit circle, we can see this pi, which is equivalent to 10 pi over 10. Therefore, 9 pi over 10 is somewhere in the second quadrant. This is in quadrant 2. The sine of 9 pi over 10 equals the sine of theta. But theta has to live in either quadrant 1 or quadrant 4. So we see that if we come straight across here, our theta is going to live here. Since this angle is 9 pi over 10 and this angle is 10 pi minus 9 pi over 10, we see that theta is pi over 10. So we have that this sine of 9 pi over 10 equals the sine of pi over 10. From here we see that theta equals pi over 10. Pi over 10 lives inside negative pi over 2, pi over 2.